Fiji Hindi or Fijian Hindi Fijian Hindi, Fiji Hindi also known locally as Hindustani, is an Indo-Aryan language spoken by most Fijian citizens of Indian descent, though a small number speak other languages at home. It is an Eastern Hindi language, generally considered to be an older dialect of the Awadhi language spoken in Central and East Uttar Pradesh that has been subject to considerable influence by Bhojpuri, Magahi and other Bihari languages. It has also borrowed some words from the Fijian and English languages. A large number of words, unique to Fiji Hindi, have been created to cater for the new environment that Indo-Fijians now live in. First-generation Indians in Fiji, who used the language as a lingua franca in Fiji, referred to it as Fiji Baat Fiji talk. It is closely related to Caribbean Hindustani and the Hindustani spoken in Mauritius and South Africa. History This is the speaking percentage of each language and dialect that indentured labourers who came to Fiji spoke. Indian indentured labourers, spoke mainly dialects from the Hindi belt. Initially, the majority of labourers came to Fiji from districts of central and eastern Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, while a small percentage hailed from northwest frontier and south India such as Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Over time, a distinct Indo-Aryan language with an Eastern Hindi substratum developed in Fiji, combining elements of the Hindi languages spoken in these areas with some native Fijian and English. The development of Fiji Hindi was accelerated by the need for laborers speaking different languages to work together and by the practice of leaving young children in early versions of day care centers during working hours. Percy Wright, who lived in Fiji during the indenture period, wrote, Indian children born in Fiji will have a mixed language, there are many different dialects amongst the Indian population, and of course much intercourse with the Fijians. The children pick up a little of each language, and do not know which is the one originally spoken by their parents. Other writers, including Burton and Lenwood made similar observations. By the late 1920s all Fiji Indian children born in Fiji learned Fiji Hindi, which became the common language in Fiji of North and South Indians alike. Status <laughs> 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 Later, approximately 15,000 Indian indentured laborers, who were mainly speakers of Dravidian languages Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Tulu, and Malayalam, were brought from South India. By this time Fiji Hindi was well established as the lingua franca of Indo-Fijians and the southern Indian laborers had to learn it to communicate with the more numerous northern Indians and their European overseers. After the end of the indenture system, Indians who spoke Gujarati and Punjabi arrived in Fiji as free immigrants. A few Indo-Fijians speak Tamil, Telugu, and Gujarati at home, but all are fluently conversant and able to communicate using Fiji Hindi. The census reports of 1956 and 1966 shows the extent to which Fiji Hindi referred to as Hindustani in the census was being spoken in Indo-Fijian households. Fiji Hindi is also understood and even spoken by indigenous Fijians in areas of Fiji where there are large Indo-Fijian communities. Following the recent political upheaval in Fiji, a large number of Indo-Fijians have emigrated to Australia, New Zealand, Canada and the United States, where they have largely maintained their traditional Indo-Fijian culture, language, and religion. Some writers have begun to use Fiji Hindi, until very recently a spoken language only, as a literary language. The Bible has now been translated into Fiji Hindi, and the University of the South Pacific has recently begun offering courses in the language. Fiji Hindi is written using both the Latin script and the Devanagari script. A Fiji Hindi movie has also been produced depicting Indo Fijian life and is based on a play by local playwright, Raymond Pillai. Phonology <laughs> 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 The phonemes of Fiji Hindi are very similar to Standard Hindi, but there are some important distinctions. As in the Bhojpuri and Awadhi dialects of the Hindi belt spoken in rural India, mainly Bihar and eastern Uttar Pradesh, the consonant shish is replaced with s, for example, sadi instead of shadi and v, replaced with b, for example, bid s instead of adesh. There is also a tendency to ignore the differences between the consonants ph and f, 
In Fiji Hindi a fruit is fal instead of fal and between j and z in Fiji Hindi land is jameen instead of zameen. The consonant n is used in Fiji Hindi for the nasal sounds n, nu, and n in standard Hindi. These features are common in the Eastern Hindi dialects. Some other characteristics of Fiji Hindi which is similar to Bhojpuri and Awadhi are Pronunciation of the vowels I and O as diphthongs, rather than monophthongs as in standard Hindi. For example, Bauji sister in law and Gaya cow. Coda clusters are removed with the use of vowels. For example, Dharm religion is pronounced as Dharam. Shortening of long vowels before a stressed symbol. For example, Rajan a common name is pronounced as Rajan. Topic. Pronouns Topic. Morphology Topic. Verb Topic. Etymology In Fiji Hindi verb forms have been influenced by a number of Hindi dialects in India. First and second person forms of verbs in Fiji Hindi are the same, there is no gender distinction and number distinction is only in the third person past tense. Although, gender is used in third person past tense by the usage of Raha for a male versus Rahi for a female. The use of the first and second person imperfective suffixes taa, at are of awadi origin. Example, Tuma Mandira Jata Hayam Tuma Mandira Jata Hayam Tum Mandir Jata Hai, Tum Mandir Jat Hai. You are going to the temple. While the third person imperfective suffix e is of Bhojpuri origin. Example, I Billy Makarai Kave Hum E Billy Makarai Khawe Hai. This cat is eating a fish. The third person perfective suffixes for transitive verbs is an in are also derived from Awadi. Example, Kisana Gana Katisara Kisan Gana Katis Raha. The farmer cut the sugarcane. Pandita Lagana Ramayana Parhina Raha Pandita Lagana Ramayana Parhi Rahina. Pandit Logan Ramayan Padheen Raha, Padi Rahin. The priests read the Ramayana. The third person definite future suffix e is found in both Awadi and Bhojpuri. Example. Pradhanamantri homologa k paisa de Pradhanamantri homolog k paisa dei. The Prime Minister will give us money. The influence of Hindustani is evident in the first and second person perfective suffix a and the first and second person future suffix e.g. a. Example, hama kara tumakrega hum kara, tum karega. I did, you will do. The origin of the imperative suffix o can be traced to the Magahi dialect. Example, Tuma upon a muhakal tum upon muh kulo. You open your mouth. Spoken in the Gaya and Patna districts, which provided a sizable proportion of the first indentured laborers from northern India to Fiji. Fiji Hindi has developed its own polite imperative suffix na. Example. Apa gara k safa karalina. A a p gar k safa karalina. You clean the house polite. The suffix b, from Bhojpuri, is used in Fiji Hindi in emphatic sentences. Another suffix originating from Awadi is it. Example. I lagana pani kahi nahim pita hai. E logan pani kahi nahi pita hai. Why aren't these people drinking water? But is at present going out of use. Topic. Tenses. Fiji Hindi tenses are relatively similar to tenses in standard Hindi. Bhojpuri and Awadi influence the Fiji Hindi tenses. Topic: Grammatical features. Fiji Hindi does not have plurals. For example, one house is ek ger and two houses is dui ger. In this example, the number is used to denote plurality. Plurals can also be stated with the use of log. For example, e means this person, singular, and e log means these people, plural. 
Sab all and Dherr many are also used to denote plural. There are some exceptions, however. For example, a boy is lurka single, but boys are lerkan plural. Older generations still use a similar form of plural, for example, admian, for more than one man singular, admi. There is no definite article, the, in Fiji Hindi, but definite nouns can be made by adding the suffix wa, for example, lurka a boy and lurkwa the boy. Definite nouns are also created using the suffix kana, for example, chota small and chahokkana the small one. Another way of indicating a definite article is by the use of pronouns e this you you that and wahi the same one. Topic: <inaudible> Fijian loan words. Indo-Fijians now use native Fijian words for those things that were not found in their ancestral India but which existed in Fiji. These include most fish names and root crops. For example, kanade for mullet fish and kumaala for sweet potato or yam. Other examples are <inaudible> <inaudible> Words derived from English Many English words have also been borrowed into Fiji Hindi with sound changes to fit the Indo-Fijian pronunciation. For example, hootal in Fiji Hindi is borrowed from hotel in English. Some words borrowed from English have a specialized meaning, for example, garand in Fiji Hindi means a playing field, jeng in Fiji Hindi means a work gang, particularly a cane cutting gang in the sugar cane growing districts, and tisha in Fiji Hindi specifically means a female teacher. There are also unique Fijian Hindi words created from English words, for example, kantop means cane top. Semantic shifts Indian languages Many words of Hindustani origin have shifted meaning in Fiji Hindi. These are due to either innovations in Fiji or continued use of the old meaning in Fiji Hindi when the word is either not used in standard Hindi anymore or has evolved a different meaning altogether. Some examples are Topic. English Many words of English origin have shifted meaning in Fiji Hindi. Topic. Counting Though broadly based on standard Hindi, counting in Fiji Hindi reflects a number of cross-language and dialectal influences acquired in the past 125 years. The pronunciation for numbers between 1 and 10 shows slight inflections, seemingly inspired by Bihari dialects such as Bhojpuri. The number 2, consequently, is du, du in standard Hindi, while in Fiji Hindi it is dui, dui just as it is in Bhojpuri. Words for numbers between 10 and 99 present a significant difference between standard and Fiji Hindi. While, as in other North Indian languages, words for numbers in standard Hindustani are formed by mentioning units first and then multiples of ten, Fiji Hindi reverses the order and mentions the tens multiple first and the units next, as is the practice in many European and South Indian languages. That is to say, while 21 in standard Hindi is ikiza ikis, an internal sandhi of ek awar biis, or 1 and 20. In Fiji Hindi the order would be reversed, and simply be biis aur ek, bisa ora eka without any additional morpho-phonological alteration. Similarly, while the number 37 in standard Hindi is saintisa saintis, for sat aur tiis or 7 and 30, the number would be tiis aur sat, tisa ora seta or 30 and 7 in Fiji Hindi. Additionally, powers of 10 beyond 10,000, lakh 100,000 and karor 10 million are not used in Fiji Hindi. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Spread overseas. With political upheavals in Fiji beginning with the first military coup in 1987, large numbers of Indo-Fijians have since migrated overseas and at present there are significant communities of Indo-Fijian expatriates in Australia, New Zealand, Canada and the United States. Smaller communities also reside on other Pacific Islands and Britain. 
The last census in each of the countries where Fiji Hindi is spoken counting Indo-Fijians who were born in Fiji provides the following figures. Writers Rodney F. Moog, who had lived in India before joining the University of the South Pacific as a lecturer. He analyzed Fiji Hindi and concluded that it was a unique language with its own distinct grammar, rather than broken Hindi, as it had been previously referred to. Moog documented his findings and wrote lessons using the Fijian Hindi dialect in the book, Fiji Hindi, A Basic Course and Reference Grammar 1977. Jeff Siegel, in his thesis on plantation languages in Fiji 1985, has written a detailed account of the development of Fiji Hindi and its different forms as used by Indo-Fijians and indigenous Fijians. Earlier, Siegel had written a quick reference guide called Say It in Fiji Hindi 1976. Subramani, professor in literature at the University of the South Pacific, who wrote the first Fiji Hindi novel, Duaka Paran 2001, which is the story of Fiji Lal an old villager as told by him to a visiting scholar to his village. The book is written in the style of the Purans but in a humorous way Puran being a sacred text also known as Purana, 18 Purans have come out of India. He received a Government of India award for his contribution to Hindi language and literature for this novel. In June 2003, in Suriname at the 7th World Hindi Conference, Professor Subramani was presented with a special award for this novel. Raymond C. Pillai wrote the story for the first Fiji Hindi movie, Adura Sapna Incomplete Dream, produced in 2007. Ermila Prasad, who helped translate the biblical gospels of Mark, Luke, Matthew and John into Fiji Hindi, written using Roman script, known as Susamahar Aur Romeo 2002. Topic. See also Gurmatias, the descendants of late 19th and early 20th century labourers who were brought or emigrated to Fiji from India Hindustani language Indo-Fijian Caribbean Hindustani